Welcome back, everybody. And this incredible tournament saw the rise of a new champion. COVID, who had an unprecedented 26 wins in this top division. Jokes aside, this Basho was incredible from day one all the way to day 15 with so many twists in the Yusho race, but it all came down to Ichi Nojo's first ever Yusho. There were so many incredible bouts this tournament that I thought it would be a disservice to not include all the ones I thought were amazing. Let's get into my top 15 bouts of the Nagoya Basho. This first one is an honorable mention, with Professor Nebel making a guest appearance during the Tochi no Shin Midori Fuji match. Which goes to... Oh, Midori Fuji gets a good initial charge, but he slid out of the ring because he knows immediately. <laughs> Life is a treasure! Oh. We gotta shine like a diamond! Life is a treasure! <laughs> and now on to the real list. Number 15 features our third division Yusho winner Yoshi pulling off a Hokuto Fuji like spin move for the win. Ooh, Yoshi low enough to push me Mishima back. Now he is on the push still. Has him at the edge, but now he's the one getting pushed back. Can't get a grip anywhere. Trying to go for a pull on the arm. Trying to throw, but it's not going to work. Turned around at the ropes. Gets the grip on the belt, finally. Going for a drag down, and there it is, Yoshi. What in the world was that? Number 14 features the top two men in Judeo with an incredibly skilled and wildly back and forth Yotsuzumo match. Umi taking each other head on. Ryuden trying to get the push, but Hidenoumi stopping him up. Ryuden going for a pull into another push, not working. Hidenoumi can't get the inside left, but the inside right might be enough as he locks down the outside left on the belt. Ryuden trying to lift Hidenoumi, trying to twist him around, not really working there. Hidenoumi trying to do the same, but Ryuden immovable. This is some good Yotsuzumo. Hidenoumi pushing forward belly to belly, but Ryuden pivots him. Ryuden now trying to go for the push. Hidenoumi stopping him up. Ryuden going for a pull into a throw. Not gonna work as the hand on the belt again, or at least trying to get it there. Outside right being blocked by the Hidenoumi inside left. Hidenoumi not letting him advance any further as he tries to go for the double inside push, but he's slipping backwards against Ryuden's push. Uncomfortable position there, stumbling forward, pushed back and out of the ring. A very well done match, and you can see both of them are very out of breath. Number 13 is the second time Enho body slams Aqua. Aqua getting a good push after Enho tries the Henka. Aqua going for the Kakenage. Another body slam from Enho. That's the second time he's done that to Aqua. Number 12 is a match I called too early, but Ichi Yamamoto surprises and wins. Takata Fuji lifting up Ichi Yamamoto, but a nice strong charge forward for Ichi is getting stopped short by Takata Fuji, who is pushing forward himself, trying to pursue, but Ichi Yamamoto survives it. Again, getting grabbed by Takata Fuji, who is now trying to manhandle Ichi Yamamoto, but Ichi Yamamoto slows it back down. Trying to get inside, keeping Takata Fuji away from the belt at an arm's length. What is the next move? Ichi Yamamoto going for the throat. Takata Fuji keeping him centered. And now it is over for Ichi Yamamoto getting thrown all the way across the ring, but it's not! Takata Fuji falls before Ichi Yamamoto gets pushed out. And what a win that was. I called it just a tad too early. And now I look like a fool for it. Number 11 is another wild back and forth between Chiyo Shoma and giant killer Midori Fuji. Chiyo Shoma and Midori Fuji. Ooh, aggressive charge for Chiyo Shoma who has full control over the belt, but he's getting spun around. Midori Fuji trying to lead him on a wild goose chase, but Chiyo Shoma trying to stand firm, not letting him lock in that left inside. Blocking with that hand on the right elbow is Chiyoshoma. 
Now he's trying to go for a weird move here, but Midori Fuji stands his ground. Chiyo Shoma not sure how to tackle this situation. And Midori Fuji has the head underneath the chin for maximum leverage. Yoshoma getting pulled, but that's not gonna work for Midori Fuji. Midori Fuji getting the hand under the armpit now. As Chiyoshoma stalls for time, standing up, those legs are getting straighter and straighter, and now he goes down into a squat, tries to push forward, going for the Kataskashi, trying to kick the leg! Midori Fuji trying everything in his playbook, but it is not working. What else do you have? Chiyoshoma slowing it down. Inside left, locked in on the belt. Midori Fuji outside right. Locks in the second hand on the belt, but now he's going for the throw again. Accidentally knees Chiyoshoma in the face as he goes for the slap down. Number 10 is an exciter between the Ozeki and the Sekiwaka Wakataka Kage, who comes back from the brink for his win. Going at it head to head, Waka Takakage getting pulled by the arm by Takakesha, but now Waka grabs him by the belt and pushes him out of the ring! What a recovery from Waka Takakage! This intense stare down between two stars of the future leads into a rare Kimarite in number 9. Hands down. And this is an intense stare down. <laughs> Kotonowaka folds first, but he catches Hoshoryu right off the bat. Hoshoryu trying to take control of that right arm of Kotonowaka so he can get that inside left. Kotonowaka denying it for now, and we can't see it, but there's the Kakenage! Hoshoryu, oh, what a win! Number 8 is Kotoeko putting his heart and soul into this win against Tochi Noshin. Tochi Noshin, Kotoeko, Kotoeko trying to get to the side, Tochi Noshin catches him, Kotoeko trying to go for a pull, trying to make Tochi Noshin go ring around the rosy. Tochi Noshin, is he getting dizzy enough to, you know, lose his footing? Not really. Tochi Noshin staying strong and center in the middle of the ring, Kotoeko at the edge now, trying to push back. Might have backfired, might have made himself a little dizzy right there. Trying to break the grip of Tochi Noshin now, but Koto Eko trying to pull back, getting lifted up, trying to throw Tochi Noshin, grabbing the leg, but he's the one to get thrown down. Number 7 features the resilient Tobizaru overcoming an Aoyama who woke up and chose violence. Tobizaru down and ready, Aoyama going high, Tobizaru trying to deflect the attack, but Aoyama manhandling him! Actually though, grabbing him by the head and shaking him like a baby, but Tobizaru gets the belt, grabs him and throws him down to the ground! What aggressive sumo both ways, and Tobizaru escapes with his life! Number 6 is Kotoeko yet again using his twinkle toes to save himself from certain defeat. They say slaps chest to chest, grabs the belt immediately, and Kotoeko. Whoa! Meise tripped backwards, and Kotoeko rolling forward for the win. Get used to seeing the Yokozuna in this top five because he is featured in all of them. Number five is in another incredible match featuring Terunofuji overcoming the onslaught from Taka No Show. Takanosho gets the double inside, gets bounced backwards though, getting caught by Terunofuji. Terunofuji trying to go for a dragging attack, not gonna work. Takanosho pushing him to the edge though, chest to chest, but Terunofuji has a grip on the belt. Terunofuji popping up Takanosho, who's trying to go for the throw, turned around as Terunofuji at the edge, but slammed to the ground. Takanosho didn't stand a chance. In number 4, Kiribayama gives it his all in this fantastic Yotsuzumo match, but comes up short. Kiribayama getting the inside, Teru no Fuji getting twisted just a little bit, keeping Kiribayama away from his own belt as Kiribayama goes for the pull. But he can't push Teru no Fuji as Teru no Fuji locks that right arm up into his armpit. It's not on the belt, it's nowhere near it, and now Teru no Fuji trying to inch forward, but Kiribayama leaning far forward like a spear to stop the advance. Now it's Kiribayama getting lifted as he tries to fight for that left inside yet again, but Teru no Fuji not letting him have it easy. Leaning over on him is Teru no Fuji. 
Kiribayama locked in this odd angle Yotsuzumo because Kiribayama knows he can't do it straight up. He can't give Terunofuji the chest to chest, belly to belly, so he has to try to attack the side. Terunofuji not letting it happen. Going for a pull now. It's not going to work. Terunofuji hopping forward. Very strong in his stance, pushing forward now, grabbing the arms. Does he have the grip on the belt, the outside right? I think he does, giving him the bear hug, getting wrapped all the way around the back. That is the push forward and the Yorikiri for Teru no Fuji. Another incredible effort from Wakamoto Haru comes up short after his belt comes undone in number three. Goes to... Uh, Teruno Fuji pretty easy, gets him by the arm, oh, Wakamoto Haru pulling Teruno Fuji back, but Teruno Fuji turning it around, about to pull Wakamoto Haru out of the ring, but Wakamoto Haru stays, Wakamoto Haru gritting his teeth, Wakamoto Haru right at the end, trying to find any way to get Teruno Fuji, but Teruno Fuji has him by the arm, Teruno Fuji has the advantageous position, the inner grip, in a shoulder to shoulder contest, in the middle of the ring, Wakamoto Haru showing incredible fighting spirit here, they are contemplating their next move, well, Wakamoto Haru does have the higher position, which is advantageous in this deadlock. However, using his shoulder, he pushes Teruno Fuji up, Teruno Fuji back. Teruno Fuji keeps his position, and now they are back shoulder to shoulder. Again, in the middle of the ring. Wakamoto Haru having the very, very, very slight advantage against the powerful Yokozuna, Teruno Fuji. But Teruno Fuji now has an overwhelming advantage and prevents himself from getting thrown out of the ring. Keeps that one leg despite how destroyed it is. Oh! You can see the anguish on Wakamoto Haru's face, leaning on Teruno Fuji's shoulder. Again, in this deadlock, he has the advantage, he has the higher position, the outer position. But if it goes to a larger role, form, then Teruno Fuji will have the advantage. It is to Wakamoto Haru's advantage to keep in this position, to keep this deadlock, to tire the Yokozuna out. He wants that Kim Boshi. He wants that Gold Star. He wants to see those Zabuz on fly in. Wakamoto Haru, are you mad enough? Are you brave enough? Do you have the courage to do it? Wakamoto Haru, it is all up to you against this great Yokozuna. Teruno Fuji bringing it back up to a lateral position. They are both vertical now. That advantage that Wakamoto Haru had has been frittered away. They are now waiting their next move. Very wise of Teruno Fuji to bring it back up, but he is not finishing it. It looks like even the man himself is winded. Wakamoto Haru is the inside of Teruno Fuji here. Teruno Fuji is renting Wakamoto Haru. Wakamoto Haru, defense! Push out! It is Wakamoto Haru! It's a It's a It's a That was... The Gyoji was trying to stop the match because Wakamoto Haru's belt was being undone. That's very unusual. No, there are no fields. Go! And uh, Teruno Fuji immediately regains the vertical stance. Wakamoto Haru puts him up with his hip. Ah, but Teruno Fuji just walked with him out. Expected. Yeah, after... That's... <laughs> In number two, the Yokozuna is the one on the back foot giving up his first Kinboshi to his friend Ichi Nojo. Ichi Nojo immediately goes for the belt, as does Teru no Fuji, but he is to Teru no Fuji's side, pushing forward, getting get him to the side, but Teru no Fuji recovers. He has the double outside grip around the arms. Ichi Nojo getting lifted up. Oh, that looks so bad on his elbow, but Ichi Nojo recovers it, getting low, digging for the belt, losing the grip because of that arm breaker hold, wrapping around the back of Teru no Fuji. Teru no Fuji getting pushed back, trying to withstand the assault from Ichi Nojo, but it is not meant to be! Yori Kiri for Snorlax! His ninth Kim Boshi and his first against Teru no Fuji. And our top match of the Basho is whole Shoryu throwing everything and the kitchen sink at the Yokozuna, but he still can't come away with the win. They go at it, whole Shoryu immediately gets the outside left. Teruno Fuji trying to fight forward, gets the elbow to the face, they're still in it. 
recharging in the middle of the ring. Teno Fuji catches whole shoulder, trying to get the side, trips him backwards, but it's not enough. Pulling him forward now, it's still not enough. Teno Fuji getting spun around the ring. Whole shoulder doing everything he can to try to pull Teno Fuji off balance, trying to trip him from behind, but nothing is working. Teno Fuji survives it all. Oshodu going for another pull, but now it's Teruno Fuji's turn to try to exert some control over that belt. Oshodu getting pushed all the way back to the edge, and that is it. Oshodu. Oh. I appreciate you all enjoying this video, and if you really liked what you saw, I will be bringing English commentary to my YouTube Sumo streams coming in September. If you want a few more bells and whistles, be sure to follow me on twitch.tv slash leodickinsonvt, or if you haven't already, please like and subscribe this video so you can get even more Sumo updates throughout the off-season between Basho. The next one is going to be about my young guns, who I like to follow from the very bottom division all the way up to the third and see them succeed in Judeo. Look forward to that one, and I will catch you cats later.